We literally start the finance training from this moment. The first few things you have to understand is just like business terminologies. Then, of course, as we go forward, you learn how the system actually allows you to set up a company in Dynamics AX, and we literally make it ready for configuration of Dynamics AX and a brand new legal entity. Assuming that we have launched Dynamics AX for the very first time, I'd like to take you through the three separate steps in order to prepare a brand new legal entity. But first, I'd like to give you a little introduction as far as the story that we're going to go through in this finance series. Assume the existing company is called Contoso, as you see at the title of this form. Contoso Enterprises, they are all over the place. So they own many different legal entities in different countries. Some of them belong to European countries, some belong to South American countries, and then United States. Now, the story that I'd like to tell you, because the best way to learn ERP is by going through a real-life scenario and a storytelling make it more interesting, is that a fictitious business name, we call it as a seahorse retailers. We are going to take the seahorse literally into finance and supply chain and manufacturing, and then later on make it a retail off of it. So it's going to expand. There's a huge potential in this company. And then Contoso happened that acquired this company. So they already have AX, and now they want to bring up a brand new legal entity. Now, assume in your scenario as a consultant or as somebody who works with Dynamics AX, you want to learn AX, assume you either have a company you have to work with or you have to make your company and work with. So either way is going to be beneficial for you. So assuming we are starting with USMF, you see there's already a bunch of role center. We are going to organization administration. The starting from here has nothing to do with finance or supply chain. It's just a missing link that nobody talks about it. How to create a new legal entity? And speaking of the legal entity, what is a legal entity? From the term indicates, is an entity that is legally registered. With who? With an authority. And why? Because of tax. In our scenario, Seahorse Retailers is a company that resides in Ireland. And why did I choose Ireland? The reason for it is to make you act and feel as an international consultant. If you are a partner, if you are a value-added reseller or independent software vendor, you may land a deal in somewhere else in a different country than the United States. So Seahorse Retailers is based on Ireland. As you know, they are using Euro. They have some vendors in UK. So you are using Pound Sterling. And then obviously Contoso in the United States buys Seahorse Retailers. So you're dealing with US dollar too. So you're dealing with three currencies. And depending on the exchange rate, you're dealing with so many different things. So that's the story that I'm going to tell you. You're acting as an international consultant. So the first thing you need to do, either you do it or your technical team will do it, somebody has to enable Seahorse retailers in Dynamics AX. The first thing we would do from the organization administration, there is a common area. If you, for the first few hours of my lecture, pay attention to the terminologies that I keep emphasizing on, it teaches you a little bit about AX navigation. Needless to say, I have a dedicated navigation 101 training on its own which you have probably access to it, your guide to learn. So as you see, the common area, this is the area that you can expand or collapse, has certain menu groups. And on each menu group, when you expand them, you have menu links. To begin with, before I carry on, Dynamics AX, regardless of which legal entity you're working with, is always pointing to the same database. In Dynamics AX, you're sharing the same database among all the legal entities. And probably you wonder what happens with the data. It's all about security. Certain data are shared, which you're about to see. Certain data are not. Certain domain of data are system-wide. Certain are legal entity-based. And even then, you can even separate no data to be shared among any legal entity on the same database. We know it as partition. That concept was introduced in Dynamics AX 2012 R2. Data can be shared or not be shared, depending on the partition, what partition you're at. Time comes, we get into it. 